All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all our praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations. Hopefully, they got there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopefully the believers. The listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, and what I want to get into this morning, um, as I was reading in this book, okay, about Bible customs, which um, let me get a picture of the front of the book. All right, the manners and customs, all right, of the Bible, James M. Freeman, okay, which is a pretty good book, you know, going into ancient customs. And it really sheds light, you know, on a lot of, you know, the lingo, all right, that we hear in the Bible. You know, a lot of the customs, you know, a lot of the analogies and similitudes and the way that they speak, you know, in the scriptures, you know, um, a better way to get understanding is to understand the customs, you know, of the Bible, you know, the customs of the East, you know, and their culture, you know, it makes us better understand the Bible. Now, I want to deal with, you know, the the the, the um the millstones, you know, which we, you know, of course, you know, GMS Great Millstone, you know, and that's a biblical name, you know, it's a biblical, all right, and, and and it was given in the spirit, you know, the apostles going to that story, you know, it's a name that they didn't give themselves, but pretty much the spirit, you know, ordained that, you know, from listeners, but uh, <clears throat> you go into the custom of the millstone is interesting. And it sheds light, you know, on precepts that we bring out. So I want to go into it, um, get to the point. All right. So this is page 375 in the book. All right. And it's dealing with, you know, the meal. Now, I want to jump down to this part. It says the work of grinding meal is usually performed. All right. By the woman. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. And it says and it is very laborious sometimes one work one works alone but usually two works together okay sitting on the ground with the millstones between them and both taking all right um hold of the handle and moving it entirely around to and from them it says the usual time for grinding is at early dawn or at the evening um in preparation for the following day okay the stones as they crush the grain send forth a grating sound which thought not very musical or though not very musical musical is melo melodios all right melodios enough to <clears throat> a hungry traveler it says, in addition to this, the women often seen while um, grinding the woman who were, it said, the one, the women who ground were among the families of wealth, either slaves or the lowest servants. OK, and I want to turn to the next page. All right. So that, that grinding meal was a work of a slave or a low servant. All right. So you have this picture. Of two women, you know, sitting on the ground grinding meal, you know, and they was either slaves or low servants of a uh, of a rich or wealthy family. OK, now. To read on, it says. Um, be readily understood by what is said above of the position of all right, the servants when grinding. The prophet Isaiah represents the virgin daughter of Babylon is compelled to sit on the ground like a servant to grind meal. You see that? <laughs> so I have it pulled up. Isaiah 47. All right. And this goes in two. I'm going to read it. I'm gonna leave the picture up. All right. So Isaiah 47 to 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust. Okay, so you will have to sit in the dust. You have to be on the ground to, 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 to do this act, which is to grind meal. 
And this is symbolic of America is going to be greatly demoted in the earth. And it's going to be turned to dust, man. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Because this wasn't the work, all right, of royalty, of people, of, of nobility. This wasn't the work, all right, of, of, of people that was high born. All right, these were the work of, you know, like I say, servants of low slaves, I mean, uh, slaves of low servants. Okay? And America has been on the high horse, man. America is why America is likened into what, man? You know, it says she was decked with scarlet and colored purple. You know, um, the woman that rode the beast. Okay? Symbolic of her status. America has enjoyed royal status in the earth. Okay? But now, this place is finna be reduced. All right? And ultimately destroyed. <laughs> you see? So the Bible, you know, it's good to understand these things, man. <laughs> All right? Now... It says, who, it, verse 2, it says, take the millstones and grind meal. Okay? Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thighs, pass over the rivers. Yeah, so you read this in the NLT. It says, take heavy millstones and grind flour. Remove your veil and strip off your robe. Expose yourself to public view. So here it is. The Lord has the prophets. You know, and a lot of men under that banner of great millstone are exposing this devil, man. <laughs> you see, this this is this is a, a very spiritual book, but it uses a lot of practical, all right, similitudes and analogies, man. Okay, the downfall of America, you know, is likened to a, a slave girl grinding meal. Okay, so America is going to be reduced, all right, and destroyed, man. It's going to be greatly demoted from their royal status to destroy it. <laughs> okay? Now, I want I got a, I got a, um, a video, all right, of the actual millstone, all right? So yeah, that was the process of um grinding meal, you know, <laughs> and this word is grinding, all right, something solid into powder, you know, um Esau's kingdom is built on the foundation of deception and lies, but see this word is grinding this kingdom into powder, okay, and it's gonna lead to America being reduced. All right, and eventually destroyed. And now you heard the sound of that meal, and this is why you you know I thought that was interesting when you hear um. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and three. It says, "In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, okay, and the keepers of the house, all right, in the time represent what the uh, the economists, okay, because the economy is finna is finna tank, okay." And then and America's going to lose their royal status in the earth, man. Okay, it says, And the strong men shall bow themselves, which are the rich men, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out in the windows be darkened. Yeah, so the grinding, all right, of that meal is going to cease. You know, you heard that grinding noise, you know, when you were uh, 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 grinding meal. All right, it made a particular noise. You know, and like the uh, like I said in the book, if you was a hungry traveler, you heard that meal grinding, you know, okay, it's food, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all right, 
But um, yeah, that's finna cease, man. All right, work is finna cease. All these things is finna cease in America. All right, is it, it, gonna go through harsh times, man. The people that have lived these delicate lives, all right, that live deliciously, okay, are now gonna have to come sit in the ground, man, be a suffer that great demotion in the earth, all right, before it's turned into dust, okay. So I just thought that'd be interesting, you know, as I was been um, reading, you know, through this book this morning. You know, Lord will those edify until next time I say Shalom. Quan Yashallah Baba Baba DTA soon Shalom.